OODA loop. Yes, OODA loop. O-O-D-A loop. A funny set of words that some of you may have never heard before. But what exactly is it? What does it mean? Where did it come from? And how does it apply to me in gaming and in the real world? Well, my friends, sit tight and enjoy the video because all these questions and more will be answered throughout. Now, let's get to it. The concept of OODA loop was developed by military strategist and Air Force Colonel John Boyd as a way of understanding the decision-making process in a dynamic environment. It has become an important concept in business, military operations, law enforcement, and many other facets of life. At its core, OODA loop is an acronym. The first O stands for observe. It relates to the observations we make with our senses when presented with a specific situation such as an armed suspect or an enemy plane. The second O stands for orient. It is the contextualization of what we observe based on all known factors and how we orient ourselves to said observations. For example, in a fight, I would want to stay square to my opponent when taking into account all factors presented at any given time. The next letter, D, stands for decide. Based on our observations and orientation, we formulate an optimal course of action to deal with the scenario. Next, the letter A stands for act. It's how we execute the optimal decision we made with a minimal amount of delay. Lastly, loop stands for the repeating cycle of OODA required until the situation we are currently presented with is over. The process is constantly occurring and typically takes only milliseconds to seconds to complete one cycle. Okay, heading down. Everything we do in life is based on our observations, decisions, and actions. For example, when playing a competitive FPS, either on a flat screen oh, or in VR, we are constantly making observations oh, that are presented to us. Where our team is, where the enemy is, or likely to come from, how much ammo I have, the list goes on and on. We then orient ourselves to the situation at hand. My teammate is behind me, therefore I keep my weapon trained on the T intersection in front of me. Given the observations and orientation, I decide my best course of action is to move forward slowly with the weapon trained toward the intersection. Lastly, I act. I take steps forward toward the T intersection, walking heel to toe to ensure I have a nice, stable base in case I need to engage an enemy combatant. In a daily life scenario, we constantly use OODA loop when driving on city streets or on the freeway. For example, say we were driving on the freeway as depicted in this picture. We are constantly scanning in front of and to the side of our vehicle to look for other vehicles, pedestrians, hazards, or any other element that may disrupt our drive. Given our observations of the vehicles to the left and in front of us, we allow some distance between them and our vehicle to ensure we can adequately address any issues that may arise. We decide the best course of action at this time is to apply the brakes slightly, decrease our speed, and allow for even more room between us and the other drivers. Then we apply the brake gently, decreasing our speed, allowing us to successfully accomplish the decision that we have made. But if we are using OODA loop, isn't our competition doing the same? Well, that's correct. OODA loop is a universal concept that will be used by all enemies within a given situation. For example, in a peer versus peer shooter, when rounding a corner, the enemy and I lock eyes. We both raise our weapon and proceed to fire at each other. The winner in the p this particular scenario, outside of a fortunate stroke of luck, is likely going to be the person who completes the OODA loop cycle quicker or more efficiently. So how can we help improve our chances of winning a dynamic scenario against an adversary who is also using OODA loop? One way is to ensure we can su successfully complete the OODA loop process before the person or thing we are going up against. This is done through training and practice. If we train for a given scenario over and over again, it allows us to complete the OODA loop process faster when presented with a similar situation to said scenario. Additionally, another way to overcome your adversary is to disrupt their OODA loop process. Think of the OODA loop process as a vehicle traveling on a road. If we are able to dis disrupt one of the processes that allow the vehicle to travel optimally, say, popping its tire, then we are able to disrupt the vehicle as a whole. In a competitive or adversarial situation, we can disrupt the OODA loop process by disorienting the person or thing we are going against. For example, in a barricaded or hostage, hostage situation, 
We can throw a flashbang into a room to disrupt the suspect's oodle. The flash takes away their ability to see, and the bang causes temporary hearing loss, both of which take away the suspect's ability to make sound observations. Thus, the lack of observational ability leads to the suspect being disoriented and una unable to make a sound decision or act appropriately as the good guys storm the room and save the day. I truly hope this video was helpful and I was able to at least provide some insight on the OODA loop concept. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment below. If you dislike the video, you can always give it a thumbs down, but please let me know in the comments below as to why you did not like it. For everyone subscribed to me currently, I greatly appreciate your support and hope to continue to grow the channel as time progresses. Due to the support I have received thus far, I will be doing a giveaway to my first 100 subscribers. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and you will be automatically entered to win your choice of a copy of Tactical Assault VR, Ghost of Tabor, or VTOL VR. Again, thank you so much for watching and as always, slow is smooth and smooth is fast.